the great thing about Babylon is it becomes this symbol that's used throughout the Doctrine and Covenants. Uh, it factors largely in the Book of Mormon as well. It becomes this dichotomy between Zion on the one hand and Babylon on the other, mm -hmm. and the choice then is presented to each of us. Which will you follow? And you see Babylon in so many different aspects today. And you think of a dog-eat-dog -dog world that we live in. Uh, so many uh, political kingdoms are, are represented as animals, the American eagle, the Russian bear, and so on. And so to, to be part of that that dog-eat-dog -dog world that we're all in, that's, that's one aspect of Babylon. Today, when we meet the, the mother of harlots in chapter 17, for example, if the beast was the political aspect of Babylon, the harlot, the, the mother of, of abominations, can represent the religious aspect, the ideological aspect. And then in chapter 18, when you see this merchant city, there's the economic aspect of mm -hmm. Babylon. And so any area of our life that the world can work on and try to, to wean us away from God, uh, that is spiritual Babylon. And so it does become this symbol ever after uh, with the choice before us, Zion or Babylon. <laughs>